in the previous government party q was in the opposition now increasing the seats by 33.33% q is the ruling party and thus party q enjoys twice the majority than that of party p in the previous government if there were only two parties p and q and the fixed number of seats be 500 in the parliament of hamtum then the number of seats of q in the new government is so let's try and understand this uh, once uh, with the detailed uh, you know reading so in the previous government party q was in the opposition now increasing the seats by 33% q is the ruling party and thus this ruling party enjoys twice the majority that party p had enjoyed in the previous government so basically we are talking about two instances right one instance let's say and, and then we know that there were only two parties there were only two parties p and q and the total number of seats are 500 in the parliament of hamtum we have to find out the number of seats of q in the new government so let's talk about two points right old government and the new government right let's say the number of seats of party p in the old government were p and that of q were q in the new government party p is p dash and uh, party q is q dash right so number of seats for p and q in the old government were p and q and in the new government is p dash and q dash now we know that the number of seats are fixed there are fixed number of seats which is 500 in the parliament so can you say p plus q is equal to 500 yes which means p dash plus q dash is also 500 because the number of seats will not change total number of seats will remain 500 only so two equations already we have got four variables p q p dash q dash and we have already got two equations look at this the other point given in the question is now the number of seats increment for q is 33.33 percentage now increasing the seats by 33.3 percentage 33.33 percentage q has become the ruling party now means what this is about the new government right q increased its seats by 33.33 percentage and thus it came to the ruling party's position are you able to follow which means q dash is 33.33 percentage more than q so the equation formed will be this q dash is equal to q plus 33.33 percentage of q which is like q plus q by 3 or 4 q by 3 so basically q dash is equal to 4 q by 3 is the point right so don't get confused thus increasing the seats was not increment in the total number of seats total number of seats are fixed right what seats have increased the number of seats by q have increased they have increased their share by 33.33 percentage earlier they got q seats now they have you know 4 q by 3 seats increased by 33.33 percentage and that is why they have become the ruling party and also this party q enjoys twice the majority than the party p in the previous government what do you mean by majority majority we have discussed if you have gone through the percentages video in those election problems i have told you majority is nothing but the difference between the votes obtained by winner and the votes obtained by loser or the number of seats obtained by winner and loser so what is the majority in the previous case m it was p minus q because p was more than q what is the majority in this case it will be q dash minus p dash because here q is more than p positive right it should be positive so previously p was more so p minus q now q is more so q dash minus p dash the point given in the question is this majority is twice the earlier majority m dash is equal to 2 times of m which means what q dash minus p dash is equal to twice of p minus q this is the other equation so if you see we have got four equations in four variables solve and you will get the answer this is the equation right i mean not this long equation but just the point that q dash is equal to 4q by 3 and the last equation is this four equations and four variables can you solve yes what is he asking us to find out find the number of seats of q in the new garment which means q dash is equal to what q dash is equal to what is the question is again when you solve i mean i was trying to give a detailed explanation so it has taken so much of time to frame the equations right when you solve it yourself you will not be doing all this drama right i mean don't write all the steps and uh, waste your time i mean don't do this old new p dash q dash i mean you know directly p plus q is 500 p dash q dash is 500 this you know explanation also can be cut down you can directly write q dash is equals to 4 q by 3 and you don't have to write majority p minus q this majority q minus p you should be capable enough of directly framing this equation q dash minus p dash is equals to 2 times of p minus q so don't waste your time by writing unnecessary steps okay all that has been striked off in red should be avoided now let's solve these equations we have to find out q dash right let's find out q dash so just try to use the equations properly q dash has to be found right uh, 
yeah so we know that q dash is equals to 4q by 3 from this yeah basically let's use this one q dash is equals to 4q by 3 in this equation and in this equation so what do we get p dash is equal to 500 minus q dash which is like 500 minus 4q by 3 right and here uh, substitute again in this one when you substitute what happens see we know that q dash is equal to 4q by 3 so 4q by 3 minus p dash p dash can be taken as 500 minus 4q by 3 so minus of 500 minus of minus 4q by 3 become plus 4q by 3 you're able to follow i'm using this p dash is equal to 5 minus 4q by 3 in this place so we know that q dash is equal to 4q by 3 p dash is equal to 500 minus 4q by 3 so minus of 500 minus 4q by 3 will make it minus 500 plus 4q by 3 equals to 2p minus 2q i mean equations have to be solved there's no other way out right so p plus q is 500 and this is the other equation i don't have enough space so i'm like going all over the place here but so what will this give i'm writing it like this 4q by 3 plus 4q by 3 is 8q by 3 8q by 3 plus 2q will be 8 plus sorry 4q by 3 plus 4q by 3 is 8q by 3 8q by 3 plus this is 2q right so minus 2p equals to 500 i think solve these equations here i'm like <coughs> options are not given i think if options are given we would have solve it really quick i mean it becomes a lot easier but i am tired of telling you guys that please give the options i mean see i am sure that this would look lengthy even if i am there as a student i would say what nonsense is this who's going to do all this in the exam although i've mentioned that these red steps should not be put on paper and we are forced to do this solution follow the solution just because you have not given the options if options were there we can easily play and get the answer i mean what is given the option q dash is given from q dash can we find out p dash yes from q dash can we find out q yes because we know that q dash is equal to 4q by 3 and from that can we find out p once we get q can we find out p yes because totals are both 500 once you do that just verify this part that one majority is twice the other majority and you'll get the answer right so solve this by the way what happens 14q minus 14q by 3 minus 2p is 500 and uh, this is p plus q equals to 500 right so i can say 2q plus 2p equals to 1000 I'm, I'm taking this equation 2p plus 2q equals to 1000 so 2p 2p gets cancelled we'll have uh, 14q by 3 plus 2q which is like 20q by 3 20q by 3 equals to 1500 so 20q by 3 is 1500 uh, q by 3 will be 225 uh, q will be 225 sorry q is equal to 225 is that the answer oh, sorry he's asking us to find out q dash what is q dash q dash is 4q by 3 Q dash is equal to 4q by 3, right? Yeah. So find out 4q by 3. Uh, 75, right? So 75 into 4, 300 will be the answer. That's the final answer. Remember, q is 225. We have been asked to find out q dash. So q dash will be 33 percentage more than 225. So 33.33 percentage of 225 is 75. 225 plus 75 will give you 300 the answer. I would still urge you all not to worry about the length of the solution or the time that we have spent. We have been forced to do all this because options were not there. Let me tell you, if I am taking the exam and if options are given, options 1, 2, 3, 4, I would do nothing but verify using the options. I mean, who would play with all these equations in the exam? And this is like so much of crap here, right? Just play with numbers. That's why I say improve your calculation ability, learn how to play with numbers, do quick verifications and eliminate the wrong answers, right? What will be given in the options? Q dash will be given. From Q dash, can we find out P dash? Yes, because we know this equation. From Q dash, can we find out Q? Yes, because we know this equation. Once we get Q, can we find out P? Yes, because we know this equation. Immediately, you'll know all the four values. I mean, within like 15 seconds, 10 seconds, or 15 seconds, let's say, you'll know all the four values. Then find out P uh, minus Q and uh, Q dash minus P dash. See if the difference is twice. If yes, that's the answer. If no, move to the next option. So I think verifying one option would take about 20 seconds. Even if there are like four or five options will be there in about, I mean, 20 seconds is a little on the higher side, but yeah, we'll take about one minute or a little more than that to arrive at the answer. Definitely less than the time that we have spent in doing it this way. Anyways, the final answer is 300.